It has been a whole week. I know, man. I, I must have forgot about this channel. Nope. Just kind of been busy, and I'm kind of like taking a break before the big month of Dogtober. So that's what we're doing. Now I'm back. Probably go strong every day now. But, uh, oh, man, I got up at 3 this morning. Nobody, and I didn't get to bed till midnight. Nobody wants up at 3 in the morning. That's just not an hour to be up. So I made coffee. Once a month, I'm up. I might go lay back down about seven, sleep another hour, but I doubt it. But my right leg is like hurting. Don't know why I, I overdid it weed eating yesterday. I know that's got to be it because I never went that long before. Uh, now that I'm on carnivore, I got a whole lot more energy and i don't know when to stop but it's yeah uh, it's the longer i'm up and moving around it gets better no i don't got it ain't my heart it's my right leg it ain't got nothing to do with my heart you know there would there'll be an answer in in the comments so you know there's going to be a you know some of the things we hear growing up it's a miracle we even make it till adulthood. Uh, and I'm talking about old wives' tales. And I just learned today. I learned something new this morning when I was kind of thinking of that. And I looked up old wives' tales. Well, I didn't know it was wives, W-I-V-E-S. I thought it was old wise, W-I-S-E, tales. No. Nope. Old wives' tales. You learn something new every day if you just open your, your noggin and pull it in, right? Get out of here, court. Get out of here. Oh, that's two things I learned. One is these headphones. I don't have to turn them on. There's a button here. That's for the Wi-Fi. They're already hardwired in. They're on. As soon as I turn the mic on, they're on. Didn't know that either. And I and I tried getting my, this is going to take further education. I got these earbuds and they're Wi-Fi. So I'm thinking, well, maybe I can wear these. I don't have to wear these big, ugly things. But I don't know how to work the Wi-Fi on. There's no buttons on these things that I can see. And I lost the instruction. I never read those things anyway. But some of the old wives' tales that we hear when we're kids. Get out of there. You know, going you're going swimming and you hear this one. You can't eat you can't eat and go in the water, you'll get the cramps. You gotta wait thirty minutes after you eat. We're all sitting there, you know, it's a picnic, we're at the lake. We're all sitting there like a bunch of idiots. Adults, too. Because that's what we've always heard. You can't go in there, you're going to get the cramps, and then you're going to drown, and nobody can come get you because they ate, too. And, they, and you're going to drown and die. And I purposely ate a big meal and went swimming one time just to test the theory. It's false. And if you look it up, you'll learn it, it's false. There's just a lot of them like that. I mean, look at what we teach kids. We teach them the tooth fairy exists, the Easter bunny. And if your kids are listening right now, cover their ears, because you know who the guy in the red suit is. He ain't real either. But we grow up, you know, I knew probably by six or seven. None of them was real. I knew the tooth fairy. I don't think I ever believed in that one. You know, just think of the whole storyline. A tooth fairy. What? Why do they want your nasty ass tooth? And why are they going to pay you for it? That sounds like witchcraft to me. Voodoo. Now, I'm guessing that's probably where it came from. Don't know. Didn't look it up, but that's just one of them. And I don't, there's just so many that you hear. 
Your face is going to freeze like that. Keep giving that ugly look to your mother. Your face is going to freeze. And you're going to look like that the rest of your life. <laughs> that was a lie. Or, or was it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Mm. That coffee stunts your growth. Are, are you talking about height-wise or out-wise? Because I didn't get stunted on either one of them. That's, that's another one. Oh, another good one. You hear, heard this growing up in Oklahoma because we got tornadoes. And they say it for hurricanes, too. If there's a hurricane or a tornado, you should open all the windows. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You know, the thought is it's going to relieve pressure when, when 150 mile an hour wind hits the house. No, it isn't going to do a damn thing. Your walls are still caving in. The window ain't going to help. All it's going to do is get wet. And if it doesn't hit you, then you got a flooded room. Bottles is up. I know you guys can't hear them. They, this thing cuts out background sound, but he's going at it out there. Oh, what's some more? I mean, we're just brought up with so many lies. Most of us turned out all right. And then what do we do? We tell those same lies to the next generation. And I think a lot of them, especially for kids, were made up to get the kids to behave. I think that's the man in the red suit. Because if you don't behave, he don't come. But the problem with that is for 350 days of the year, we don't care. We don't even think about him. And you still got stuff every year. So you figured, well, I, yeah, I can be bad. I'll still get something. You know, unless you've got some totally evil parents that really went through with that. You know, all kids misbehave. I still misbehave. Uh, an Easter bunny. I don't know. I don't even think he, he still sold it. They probably have Easter stuff in the store by now. I'll have to go look and look up where that little wise tale, wives tale came from. But yeah, don't let your kids, I hope if your little kids are listening right now, Hey, I gave you a disclaimer. And I warned you, this isn't this, my show isn't for children. Okay. And I'll bet you. Somewhere out there, somebody's playing this, and kids are going right now. <coughs> that man said that, that the Easter Bunny wasn't real and that the red man said, <laughs> Kids traumatized, and it ain't my fault. It's your fault. Because I warned you. They don't need to be watching podcasts. They don't need to be on the computer. But I guess that's what they do now. Don't know. Oh. Well, I can't think of any more. But, then, man, there's tons of them. I had some pulled up. Let me, let me see if I still got them. And, no. Uh, there, there's just so many. Usually I have the screen on here where you guys can see but i did not set that up uh, old wives tale is a traditional belief or story that is considered to be superstitious inaccurate or exaggerated these tales often passed down by word of mouth are often centered around women's concerns i believe that one such as health puberty, pregnancy, and nutrition. And let me just click on this. Oh, well, that's another Wikipedia. Who, what is that anyway? Uh, I had a good site pulled up, but now I lost it. Reddit. I don't know what Reddit is, but I, I've asked Google some questions sometimes, and that Reddit comes up. I think it's kind of like uh, X or Twitter, whatever you want to call them. I can't read that fine print. 
Uh, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of them about pregnancy, and I don't know any of them because that's woman stuff. I know man stuff. Cigarette smoking, that's another one that'll stunt your growth. Well, I smoked from a very young age. That didn't work either. Didn't stunt my growth. Didn't lose my appetite. And there's a whole bunch of them about plants. uh, Just about every subject. I think it's this way. If if a kid was going to get in trouble with something, and if it was something parents wanted to keep away that wanted to keep from the children, there was one of those made up. Yeah. Yeah. And stick your tongue out at somebody. It's going to stay like that. You know, I've heard that one. Actually, I did that as a child, probably 12 years old, 11 years old. I stuck my tongue out at my mother and my dad saw it. And my dad, and he's probably watching. He probably don't remember, but I had to walk around for two hours and we were out in public. And I was having one of my episodes where I was not behaving. And I said, and my mom said something and turned her head and I stuck my tongue out at her, but my dad seen. So I had to walk around with my tongue stuck out for two year, two hours. And we, we were out in public and you talk about embarrassing. So I think stuff like that is why not much embarrasses me anymore because I've already done it. You know, when you walk around like this, well, fuck, hey, hey, can we go get some Burger King? Dad, can we get some Burger King? Don't you put that tongue back in your mouth. Get it back out. I might as well get some ice cream. The tongue's already out. That's a true story. I never stuck my tongue out at anybody again. <laughs> He's three hours away. He can't do nothing to me now. I don't know. What's another one? Oh, there's a lot about rain. It's raining now. Yeah, you'll get a cold. You go out. Yeah, that's one. You go out with that wet hair. You're going to get the pneumonia. You're going to get a cold. That's also false. You get a cold or that from a germ, not the cold. Look it up. I have before, you know, but that's one. You can't go out there like that. You're going you gonna to get the pneumonia. Don't catch a cold. Yep. That was another thing. If you had chicken pox or anything like that, I don't ever remember getting chicken pox i don't know I, I remember getting the mumps the mumps sucked but a lot of families just one of them got it they'd stick all the kids in one room so they'd all get it get it over with but the mumps were pretty nasty from what i remember i don't think they get a get the mumps anymore uh I can't remember much about any other uh, chicken pox. I think that was pretty much knocked out, but it's making a comeback. Measles. Uh, we had some one of them. I don't know. Whatever there was a vaccine for, we had the other one. But that's the bad thing about public schools. Uh, and nowadays, oh, my God, they're always sick. The teachers, they're, they're always sick because they're all, you know, they're all in the same environment and the classes are bigger. So there is a lot of sickness that is caused by, you know, I know a lot of adults that have, you know, elementary age, high school kids. They're always sick. They're always sick because the kids are little germ magnets. They go to school, they get the germ, they bring it back. Everybody gets sick. Uh, that could be one of the reasons I have not been sick and, Actually, I can't recall the last time I was sick. It, it's been probably 19 years old when I had mononucleosis and almost died, lost my spleen. Honestly, that's the last time I think I've ever been sick. 
besides a mild cold. Just never been a sickly person. And I don't have a spleen. So I should be getting sick often. But I just don't, I don't go to those crowded events. I don't go to concerts, anything like that. And I, I don't enjoy going to them, so I don't care. But I don't get sick either. Knocking on that wood. All right, well, boy, this conversation took a turn, didn't it? That's how my podcast rolled, man. But I ain't talking about politics anymore. Oh, my goodness, I just give a two-minute opinion. And you think the world was coming to an end. We won't talk about none of that no more. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.